Bollywood actors Deepika Padukone and Ranbir Kapoor set the ramp on fire at the Walk of Mizwan on Thursday night, flaunting the outfit designed by Ace designer Manish Malhotra. The duo looked stunning as showstopper, wearing beautifully embroidered dress from the collection of Manish. Ranbir dressed in black floral embroidered sherwani and the pika wore a pearl scent lehenga designed with heritage embroidery that celebrated the craft of needle. The collection shows some of the quint essential Indian embroidery craftsmanship in chicken curry in various texture that celebrated traditional Indian design. Organized by Mizwan Welfare Society in the presence of veteran actress Shabana Azmi, the fashion evening was graced by many celebrated personalities of the film industry. The annual fundraiser show was attended by Wahida Rehman, Asha Parekh, Javed Akhtar, Huma Qureshi, Nushrut Barucha, Yami Gautam, Moni Roy, Sanakshi Sana, among many others. Alia Bhatt and Vicky Kaushal will be coming together for Meghna Gulzar's next directorial Razi, which narrates the story of a Kashmiri girl married to a Pakistani army officer. Knowing that films based on Pakistan or somehow related to the country usually doesn't get a release date there. However, let's see if it gets a green signal this time or not. When Razi's director Meghna Gulzar was asked about the same question, she too hoped for a release. इस फिल्म को पाकिस्तान में किस तरह से रिलीज करेंगे ये मैं मेरे बहुत ही केपेबल प्रोड्यूसर्स के हाथ में छोडूंगी मेरा काम था फिल्म बना के उनको देना। Razi is being produced by Jungli Pictures and Dharma Productions. The espionage thriller is based on Harinder Sikha's novel Calling Samad. It is shot in Punjab, Kashmir and Mumbai. After 27 years, Rishi Kapoor and Amitabh Bachchan are reuniting for one or two not out on the big screen. The new song from the film named Badumba sees a fun and cute camaraderie between the two veterans taking digs at each other. Both veterans also shared some cute bond at the launch. Check out some funny moments. Where do I bring it from? एक झूठ बोल रहे हैं ये कैमरा जैसे चालू होता है ये कुछ और ही हो जाते हैं यार ये होता है एक बड़ा टेंट के बल्ब जो है ये वैसे नहीं नहीं but she's asking कि आप लाते कहाँ से हैं बाजार में तो बिकती नहीं है और किसी दुकान में होगी तो हम उसको खरीदना चाहेंगे लेकिन इसके पास उत्तर नहीं मेरे पास कि कहाँ से अभी मैडम ये मैं कैसे बोल सकता हूँ ये तो जो उस ज़माने में मेरे साथ था वही बोल पाएंगे ना कि आप कचरित जिता वो बड़ा बोरिंग था। I don't know how I was as a kid. I hope that I was normal. असल ज़िंदगी में जब मैं देख रहा हूँ आप यहाँ पे बात कर रहे हैं तो ऋषि जी ज़्यादा बच्चों की तरह होते हैं ज़्यादा चुलबुले हैं और आप ज़्यादा गंभीर होते हैं आप जब बोलते हैं तो बहुत संभल संभल के बोलते हैं और ऋषि जी सारी बातें बता देते हैं कि कब किससे झगड़ा हुआ था या कब क्या हुआ था करा <laughs> आपको भी लगता है ऐसा सर जीवन में संभल के चले तो अच्छा है <laughs> बचे रहेंगे आप लोगों से The film is based on Soumya Joshi's Gujarati play 102 No Doubt and will see Amitabh playing a 102-year-old man while Rishi will portray the character of his 75-year-old son. It will release on May 4th this year. <laughs> Deepika Padukone is the only Indian actress to feature in the Time 100 influential people in the world. In the Time magazine international star Vin Diesel, Deepika's co-star in her Hollywood debut Triple X Return of Xander Cage has penned words of appreciation for her. Diesel wrote, Making that movie, Deepika took committed to a whole other level. That's who she is as a performer. She wants the whole movie to shine, which is a rare thing. Anyone could talk about how beautiful she is and anyone could tell you about her unmatched comedic timing. But she isn't just a star. She's an actor's actor dedicated to the craft. While global sensation Priyanka Chopra wrote, So happy and proud to see my friends Deepika Padukone and Virat Kohli on the Time 100 list. Big congratulations and so well deserved. 
Deepika scored a success at the box office this year with the epic drama Padmavat, in which she played the title role. One of the highest paid actors of Indian cinema today, she has 18 brands in her portfolio and has a strong social media presence. Apart from Deepika, Indian cricketer Virat Kohli also made it to the influential people's list. Actress Sonakshi Sinha made a successful debut in Bollywood with Dabang and she also featured in Dabang 2. Now producer Arbaz Khan is busy working on the pre-production of Dabang 3. Sonakshi said the film will go on floors very soon. Sonakshi spoke about this at a fashion event organized by veteran actress Shabana Azmi's Mizwan Welfare Society. Dabang uh, 3 will be going on floors very very soon. Um, Prabhu sir is directing it and uh, of course I'm reprising my role of Rajo. Uh, Chul Pandey will be there. So yeah, very very exciting. Back to the babe, back to my roots, back to where it all began, back to where it started. So super exciting. I'm Rajo, so I mean I mean it's a it's a continuation of that. But the story is very very exciting and I can tell you it's going to be full masaledar and tamakedar. Apart from Kalang and Dabang 3, Sonakshi will also be seen in Mudassar Aziz's Happy Fir Bhag Jayegi.